Off we go now. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. Did you put your memories of us in that box? This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them, weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of the citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them dead, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. First, 
and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive. Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens, but they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. Yeah. 
Grandfather was who? Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. So, our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. You'll have to go through me. Now, do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias, we're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Ancient and merciless. Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... progressive. And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos? If he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. 
We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Illot rebellion and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Illots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kryptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once, but the Kryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Just know I work. Some things can't be unseen. If Archidamos believes in the old ways, won't killing his Kryptia create conflict between him and Pafsanias? I miss Kefalonia sometimes. Life was simple. Even if Marcos was a bumbling idiot. Ah! <laughs> 
show sure. Крептия. Listen up! I'm only going to 